Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Please put a like and subscribe if you are new. Also go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where you can get daily collective reading. My readings always start on the 30 minute mark. You can come in earlier if you wanna wait, chat with everyone, but they always start at the 30 minute mark, so just pop in, the reading will begin. All right, let's get into your reading. Hey you guys, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. I am back momentarily to try to give you guys a message here. Just popping in. Hope you're all doing well. Happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for all your patience. So let's just dive right into your reading and see what's coming up here. Um, let's take a look at the overall messages. Oh, of course, I got a call right when I started. All right, so you've got palm trees, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Okay, so someone might live in an area where there's a lot of palm trees. Maybe you're going to decorate palm trees for Christmas. Uh, let's see. What else do you have coming up here for you? You've got keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one eight stand. Okay, so you're definitely starting off with some options here. Um, looks like being very flexible, keeping your options open. That's the message that I'm getting right now. As far as your relationships, love, your plans, your schedule, keeping things very open. Listen, you guys can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, so I'm much more active on that now that um, I am not able, because, you know, I could do that anywhere. But to be here in my studio to get a reading up for you, follow me over there because I'm uploading and I'm putting like um, messages, intuitive messages and stuff like that. The link is in my link tree. It should be under my profile picture here on my channel. It's also in the description box. So to keep up with me and to keep up with everything going on, um, yeah, definitely do that. Oh, you also have twin flames showing up here. Yin and yang, Zen balance, union, duality, coupling, complementing each other. Okay. So Virgo, you're definitely in this position. I feel the energy playing out for like through November, of course, into December, is there's a twin flame thing here. Um, there is someone that, I don't know if they're coming into your life, or they've already been in your life. There is a connection, though. You must know or you recognize someone is a twin flame to you, but you might not be totally sure about that. So you're keeping your options open just in case you're, I don't know if you're doubting yourself or maybe there's a karmic kind of thing and it feels like a twin, that kind of energy playing out. Let me see what else is going on here. But I do feel like going through, um, like from the time you're listening to this through the month of December, there's a there's this kind of thing like, okay, right, my twin flame thing, I think it's my twin, it's been difficult, there's a struggle, I don't know what's going on, or maybe they're not my twin, there's some, a little bit of doubt here, I feel like you're, like, that's your energy I'm picking up, um, you're not sure, because some, you might feel like someone's stringing you along, um, this, like, a particular person, you're trying to be flexible and open with this, but at the same time, it's like, is this my twin, is this my twin flame? Is this the yin to my yang? Is this, you know, is this person, like, do we compliment each other, but are we meant to come together? Or what am I dealing with here? Okay. Like, I feel like that's your, I don't know. There's something here. Okay. So you've got distance. So you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. So this person in you, um, there's some type of, like, gap between you. For sure, okay? And this is, I feel like right now this is just a qualifier. I don't feel like this energy is, you know, it could be playing out where you just get more into this, okay, well, yeah, this is my twin flame, but we're really far apart and there's a lot of obstacles between us and should I, you know, should I move on? There's your question here. Move on, someone is unavailable, waste of time, or it's over, um, or, you know, should you wait that's what i kind of feel like because if you know i don't feel like virgo you would do you would wait just for anybody i feel like if, if you feel like this is your twin flame then in your heart and in your mind this is the person that you know that you don't want to move on from okay because that's too that's too real for you but at the same time virgo it's like if you're if you and this person are truly twin flames, doesn't matter if you move on because I think you guys will eventually catch up with each other. You're meant to be together. Do you know what I mean? 
like if you've met your twin flame but i feel like you have some doubts about that okay you've got love spell oh my gosh so you're a little bit you might have some limerence in regards to this person or feel like you're under a spell okay let me see what's going on with this person oh wow two cards just flipped out okay this person's got manifest telling the universe exactly what they want and they also have pets getting a new pet giving a current pet more love oh no it's the puppy dog scenario somebody's coming in to give you a puppy <laughs> um there might be a nickname um that this person calls you pet i'm picking up um or you guys have pets together I, are they manifesting pets they might who okay so that could be very symbolic as well that they could be trying to manifest um a new pet like love like a new lover in their life or giving you more love okay so i feel like this person's i don't know they're a little conflicted let me see what else they have oh okay so you've got narcissist and liar i was really hoping this card wasn't going to come out someone is too full of themselves be careful if someone's sneaky okay so there's a little bit of like oh shit what am i dealing with here yeah virgo okay they might be a little bit sneaky is this virgo is this your like what's this is why you're hesitant because you must have some kind of intuition you must be like i don't know if this is my twin flame this could be a karmic karmic twin this might not be who i'm you might be placing a label on this person thinking that it really is but if it's twin flame i don't feel like if this person is good for you um i don't feel like there would be this narcissist lying being sneaky kind of energy let me see what else is showing up here for this person no virgo something's holding i knew it i was gonna say something's holding you back and I feel like you need to let go of this person, make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. So whoever you're kind of, conf whoever you're conflicted about, Virgo, if you're still conflicted about someone, I know some of you are not and you've already packed your bags and left and that's fine. But if you're still conflicted about someone, you might need to let this, just get your hands off of it right now. Like don't, because when, I feel like when the right person comes in, they'll never leave you with any doubt about if anybody leaves you with any doubt um if any at all um that that's something i feel like you have to pay attention to within yourself right like a lot of time i feel like virgo you might feel a sense of doubt and then blame yourself and, and say oh i'm just not trusting myself because you know i've had this happen i've had that happen and while those things may be true in your past energy doesn't lie when you first connect with someone so you know that there's no way they're, they're going to trigger some inner things when you first meet someone so if you think back to when you first met this person where you're conflicted what was the energy that you felt from this person energy does not lie behavior does not lie um that's what you have to pay attention to because as time goes by your brain is going to try to rationalize things the more you get attached in your feelings you might need to take a cold hard look at the very beginning of this connection to decide for yourself right and that's the point where you have i feel like getting yourself to um where you let go just kind of get let things settle let things settle and just find a place of peace so you can think about the very beginning what was off in the very beginning with this person if you have doubt if you don't have any doubt and then there's just this you already know this person is like masquerading as an, as a twin flame like a karmic then you know you you do what you have to do let me just take a look and see your energy virgo okay so there's a king of wands showing up here sagittarius leo or aries that person that could be the person that you are kind of like who not sure about this person that they might be a little bit you know narky sneaky a liar let's see okay the ace of wands 
Oh, we also get the King of Swords. So, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, if you've got two different people in your life that there's potential with, I feel like there's a fire sign who just causes a lot of struggle and leaves you, hold on, leaves you like out in the cold. There's a fire sign that, there's, a, there's, a, there's like this, oh, okay, great potential here with two people, but the fire sign looks kind of lost and very maybe financially um, insecure, um, they, like poverty mindset, like that's kind of, poverty mindset is like the reason why they run so much and they do so much is because they have like this they've been they've been in a really bad kind of energy before so they're kind of they're not settled the king of wands masculine or feminine is not settled at all that person is not settled now there's a king of swords showing up here who um i feel like is apathetic towards love they're you know they're kind of like might pop in now and then for a surprise say hello try to give some love but this person again it's like an ace of cups ace 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 all this potential but nothing goes anywhere so it's either you're dealing with both or one or the other okay and i feel like for you <laughs> Virgo, these are almost like two dead end scenarios here for you you might need to let go of two people one in your heart one in your head or vice versa or just one I feel like it's free yourself at this time. That's really, oh my God, I can't believe it. Right when I was shuffling. Yeah, let go and free yourself. That's why you're keeping your options open. And you have to, okay? So you may come to a crossroad. There might be um, a King of Cups who is a possible or a potential partner. Um, and that's a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But that seems to be like a situation here where it's like, do I or don't I? Okay, that's kind of like the two of wands is like a decision. This is like a scenario where someone's kind of like, all right, I'm at the crossroads. Should I go? Should I go with this new person? Because I feel like they might be showing up for you, whether new or it's just somebody else showing up here. And yeah, it's like, oh, wow. They come with a lot of love. They also come with some grief. So this person, very moody. I feel like they're going to be showing up. Yeah, for sure. Um, they have potential for great love and partnership. Um, but there's also, they have a lot of sadness or regret or remorse attached to them. So I do feel like they're going to be showing up. Yeah in uh from now in through december okay so i don't know virgo i kind of feel like you got a lot of um players showing up here on the stage and it looks like you um you're, you might be dating or just kind of keeping your options open like i said even now and just trying to sort through or will be trying to sort through who is going to be a better fit for you kind of looks like there might be a king of cups who's the best fit for you um, coming in because they come with that love. I feel like the other two, not so much. You know, they're kind of, I don't know. They don't have good cards around them. That's really just what I feel. This King of Cups comes in with the Knight of Cups. So that's, you know, romantic love and offer, um, sweet affection, taking some action emotionally, you know. Let's take a look at your Chinese signs here see what you are. I'm going to take a look at you and see what your Chinese sign is. Okay, you've got year of the ox, year of the goat. It could be you or this person, year of the, this new person, year of the horse, year of the snake, year of the dog, year of the pig, year of the rabbit, and one more you got a goat again okay so double goat you got double ox <laughs> and the dragon okay yeah so that could be you that could be your person okay let's get a couple of moon pie messages here 
All right, new plans are evolving and you had the two of wands there. So that's, that's new plans coming about and having to make a decision or make a choice, okay? So something's definitely showing up here. Change of plans, plot twist <laughs> happening here and um, going through the, the rest of November into December. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is strength. This card here is telling you that you can do this with these new plans. You have the courage and strength to withstand any situation. Start by soothing the beast, but go with kindness. Fight back, Virgo, by not fighting. Pull your courage up from the ground and hold steady because you're a winner. Okay, so don't get into a defeatist mindset. New plans are going to come about. Things are going to start happening here with somebody new, I feel. Or there's a potential for a love connection with someone while um, you're kind of caught maybe about one person trying to figure out who they are, what the deal is with them, or about two people. Okay, so you do have spying online here, so not exactly. I do, okay, so you've got the death card. So I do feel like, I'm going to tell you this, you end something with someone or there's just something not working out with someone, that person is going to be like definitely spying on you. Let me see if we can figure out who's going to be spying on Virgo. A Gemini. Okay. There's a Gemini who's definitely going to be keeping their eyes on you. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's online, so I don't think you have to worry about anything. Just do yourself a favor and um, disable your location services. <laughs> Especially if you're on social media, you don't want someone doing some weird, weird S, weird S. Okay, let's get some, let's see, we've got, all right. So December, most of this is going to play out in December, uh, just so you know. So keep your eyes peeled. Um, we've got the letter V, letter H, letter F, and we have a Q. Someone is 46 years of age. Let's see. Okay, all right, I just saw LGBTQ, so someone might be part of that. No G here, but it's close. We've got someone who's age 49, okay. And I'm gonna get a couple of charms. Sorry it's a little short, but I can already feel my voice is starting to go, and I'm trying not to talk, which is why it's actually come back. I don't know, thank you for all you guys seriously for all of your um kind sweet comments there must be something going around i don't even know um i just woke up saturday morning i was like <laughs> i couldn't talk so hopefully it will resolve this week fully all right so virgo yeah you guys go follow me on twitter and also on facebook um if you want to keep up with me i'm posting over there and um you know, just predictions. I'm typing them out for the general signs. And I'll be doing a lot of stuff on there until I'm just trying to keep active, but without talking. <laughs> and also my community tab, okay? So you've got the horseshoe. So look at that. This is a very lucky time for you right now, Virgo. I feel like you're going to come into some awesome luck no matter what you do. Um, lucky horseshoe. Maybe you're going to be play placing some bets. Um, or some gambling on some horses, or doing some lottery stuff. It's just good luck. This is good luck. Um, so whatever you're, you got going, I also am seeing a magnet as well. <laughs> they just showed me a magnet. I feel like someone is very magnetized towards you, and will be, especially going forward. Um, and that's going to start. Sh they're going to start showing their face in um, between now and December. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But yeah, this is a, a very lucky time for you. So if you're going to do any kind of like buying lottery tickets or um, anything you do, I feel, or you might find some really great deals. It's just every, everything is going to be really in your favor. That's what I feel from now and through December. Okay. So do keep that in the back of your mind um, as I'm leaving you this message. <laughs> as far as love, I feel like you're going to be lucky in love too during this time period. Um, but I feel like you kind of just have to let go a little bit of there's some confusion here of one or two other people 
Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there and I'm going to allow this video to play out for an extra 10 minutes with just music so you guys can just kind of catch up and chit chat if you would like um, to just catch up with each other in the chat because um, I know I haven't been here and the video is kind of short. So if you wanna stay and just keep going, let the chat, we'll keep going, the live chat, the live stream. If you wanna stay and chit chat with everybody, or do whatever, I probably won't be back before Thanksgiving which is on the 20, this Thursday. Um, so I will wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. Go follow me on my socials and then um, I can interact with you guys there. And um, yeah, that's it for you guys. I hope everybody is safe. I hope you stay well. I hope you enjoy the time with your family if you're celebrating. And um, that's it. I love you guys. Thank you for all your patience and all your kind words and I'll see you back here very soon. All right, take care.